Hello Virgo, welcome to Wasted Traditions. I'm Tiffany, here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively, offering general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. Before we get started, I'm going to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence Guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, Virgo, let's get into it. This is your reading for the week of March 3rd through March 9th. Divine Spirit, what does Virgo need to know about this upcoming week? Do tell, Divine Spirit. Do tell. Virgo, how are you? Drop in the comments what resonated with you last week that actually came to fruition if you didn't see last week's video, I will link it in the cards as well as the description below. All right. Divine Spirit, what does Virgo need to know? Do tell. This is the gold foil tarot. They are very slippery, but very beautiful. What does Virgo need to know? Your shadow card is in the bottom of the deck and it points to either hopes or fears. And you have the four of pentacles. We will get into that shortly, Virgo. Let's see what message divine spirit has for you. Three of swords. The hanged man. And the fool. Wow. Big energy. All right, Virgo. Okay. Okay. Currently, you're expressing some sort of heartache for sure. What are you grieving, Virgo? You're grieving something. We're going to get clarification. Something is causing grief to you. The hanged man. For you, Virgo. You need, you have to release this. You have to release this grief. I feel like you're carrying someone else's grief, Virgo. This is not even yours to carry. That's what I'm getting from this. Release this. And it's going to take some, it's going to take some time. Okay. And yet here we have the full you're going to get, you, you need to release the grief and wipe the slate clean. Start anew, right? Holding this grief that's not yours is, first of all, it's not healthy for you. It's okay to empathize with others, but that don't mean, that doesn't mean we have to carry that burden, Virgo. You have to release this. Start anew. Um, it's not, it's not helping you at all. It's actually pulling you down and it's not even yours to carry which is very sorrowful so let's look at your shadow card indicating hopes or fears virgo so you have you have the four of pentacles this grief has caused an instability in your life virgo and that is not okay. This is not even yours to carry. And it's created an instability. And I feel like it's affecting your job uh, greatly. What it is you do. Or if you're a business owner, it's affecting your ability to run your business efficiently. Virgo. All right, let's get some clarifiers. Divine Spirit, what is this? What is this burden? Where did this come from for Virgo? How did you end up carrying this, Virgo? Divine Spirit, do tell. Give us clarifiers on this Three of Swords. Clarify the Three of Swords, Divine Spirit. Do tell. Okay. Oh, wow. That one to jump. We got four of pentacles again. This is really unstable. Really unstable, Virgo. Let this... 
you gotta drop this grief you gotta see it in a new way have a reset you need to reset this is not yours to carry virgo what else does virgo need to know about this three of swords this grief this heartache divine spirit Mm -hmm. Hmm. you have to have the desire to want to be a phenomenal friend to others you have that desire and yet you also need to desire to be well for yourself and not hold this right you are still an individual that operates in a community type setting, friends, family, uh, career. But Virgo, you carry too much. You carry other people's baggage and it's not yours to carry. You have to learn to monitor your empathic abilities because Virgo, you this is showing me you are very empathic and you're holding it. You're holding somebody else's stuff and you got to drop it. You want to be a savior to people, and that's not your job, Virgo. That is not your job. You are a helper of humanity, not a savior. Drop it and drop it swiftly. It's like it's like you are you're impulsive as trying to fix things for people, Virgo. And it's it's a beautiful thing to want to be helpful and supportive, but I'm getting savior complex and you have to let that go you you're breaking your own heart what else does virgo need to know again you have the full you have fourth pinnacles twice you have the full twice drop it clean slate clean slate see things differently see your role in society See your role in society from a new perspective. Instead of your role in society as a savior, your role in society, Virgo, is the helper of humanity. You're not here to save anyone. You are only here to save yourself, Virgo. This this is too much. Drop the grief. Drop the savior complex. Start anew. Learn to operate in the world in a different way and use your gifts and talents that is most useful to others, beneficial to others, and not harmful to yourself. Okay, Divine Spirit, let's get a single oracle card for Virgo from the Shaman's Dream Oracle. A single oracle card for Virgo, Divine Spirit. Lay of the land, ancestral wisdom. All right, so you're going to have to rely on your ancestors, Virgo, to help you to break the cycle of savior complex. Okay, introspection, get your, I would say even go into solitude for a short while, for a short while, go into a, a solitude state where you're not interacting so much and picking up other people's energy because of your empathic ability. You have the, you have the want to carry it. So go into, go into solitude for a little while, Virgo. Uh, commune with your ancestors and angels and spirit guides to help you to drop the savior complex. One more card from the spirit animal oracle for Virgo. Divine spirit, one more card. What spirit animal will Virgo embody this week? Virgo will embody the dove spirit. Be peace. You need to be peace for yourself, Virgo. Be peace for yourself. Find joy in the peace for yourself. Peace of mind. Peace of heart. Peace of body. Peace of spirit. You're carrying too much. It's not yours to carry, Virgo. Be peace this week. Be supportive, but do not be the baggage handler. That's not your job. We're stopping that today. It's for your benefit and it's for the betterment of your ability to help others and support others to be a helper of humanity, not to be the baggage handler 
for humanity. It's too much for you. Okay. Virgo, I hope you have found usefulness and this has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.